three feet from gold. And that story always reminded me that at all times I could just be three feet from gold. It could be the next meeting, the next turn, the next chance encounter. That really propelled me and pushed me through some of those dark moments. You're always potentially just three feet from gold. There was a man named Darby who was caught by gold fever in 1850. He staked a claim and went to work. After weeks of labor, he was rewarded. There's a lot more where this one came from. Now we just need the right equipment to get it out the ground. Now everybody who puts in will get an equal share out. Everybody. The first ore was shipped to a smelter. The return showed promise that they had one of the richest mines in Colorado. A few more cars of that ore would clear the debts. Then would come the big killing and profits. Down went the pickaxes. Up went the hopes of Darby and his investors. Then, something happened. The vein of gold ore disappeared. They persevered, desperately trying to pick up the vein again, but to no avail. Had a good run, I guess. And then it ran clean out, nothing but rock. Spent all we had in this equipment. Maybe somebody else could use it. I reckon I can find a buyer. I'll give you a hundred dollars for the lot. Okay. Where was this? Get your mind out. This particular junk man had an eye for opportunity. He called in a geologist to do a little calculating. By my reckoning, this mine failed because that fella Darby was not familiar with fault lines. When the earth shifts, the vein can jut over a few feet. A few. Three, maybe four, five feet at the most. That is exactly where it was found. The junk man took millions of dollars in ore from the mine because he knew enough to seek expert advice when encountering an unexpected obstacle. He struck gold just three feet from where Darby gave up. When Darby heard about the riches he might have earned had he not quit, he made the most powerful decision of his life. He promised himself to never quit again in his new line of work. As an insurance provider, he became one of a small group of fewer than 50 people who sold more than a million dollars in life insurance annually. He recouped his losses and paid all his family and neighbors back the money they had invested. He also discovered that desire itself can be transmuted into gold.